Hi guys, so I just wanted to show you something or discuss at least the uh, international shipping program on eBay. I'm not, I'm not really criticising it because it's a very good deal where you send your uh, items to a local hub and eBay ships them for you and you just pay local shipping costs and then eBay transfers the shipping cost to the buyer. However, the, um, the charges for the international shipping program have been rather large lately, meaning rather expensive. And I've had a couple of orders where people have either cancelled or retracted their offers because the uh, shipping turned out to be too much. And I've managed to salvage the sale by writing to them and offering them a reduced shipping cost and I'll show you a couple of examples so here's my uh, sold items so that that's one example but I'll show you an earlier one that's a nice uh, candlestick by Noritake Japanese antique some of the things I've sold this month uh, Malayan one dollar a vintage brass boot matchstick holder nice genuine leather handbag made in Colombia genuine original pair of vintage Prada trainers and this one this is a Parker roller type cleaner which I made a video about on YouTube a short video if you want to check that out um, the guy wrote to me and he said why is shipping so expensive can you do cheaper shipping and I think you know I'm thinking hmm you know it's the international shipping program they sort it out it's not my problem so I wrote to him and I said how much are they asking you for shipping so it's a 23 pound item and eBay international shipping wanted 60 pounds to send it to South Korea so I thought well that's expensive so I wrote to him and said yeah I understand that that's very expensive let me um, get a better quote for you basically so all I did was went to the Royal Mail website plugged in his address and the, the type of postage I wanted and the weight of the parcel and they sent sent me a quote for 18 pounds so I wrote back to him and said how about if I send it to you for £20? How does that sound? And he was very happy about it. He said, yes, that's much better, thank you. Send me the item. So I sent him the item for £18 and he was very happy, basically. But anyway, today I've been on the, been on the phone all day to eBay trying to sort this one out. The person put an offer in, which I accepted, and then they retracted it almost immediately and I thought that's a bit strange because when you put an offer in for an item you want you're more or less committing to buying it aren't you so I wrote to her and said oh, I was just wondering why you re retracted your offer was it because of the shipping costs and she wrote back and said yes it was so I said how about if I send it to you with shipping like for the price you offered me and I'll send it with free shipping. So basically she paid the asking price plus £24 shipping and she said, yeah, that's a good deal, I'll take that. So what happened was when she put the offer in, she got a quote for shipping from eBay for the international shipping programme that was just so expensive she decided not to buy it. So basically I'm losing sales through the international shipping program because people are not willing to pay that much postage well you're looking at the difference between 60 pounds with the international shipping program and 20 pounds if you send it with royal mail so the the, the shipping program is good because um it's hassle free and ebay covers it so if, if there's any loss or damages they refund you in full and they insure it, cover the insurance and all that. But it's just so expensive, it's putting off buyers, basically. So do this one thing 
and transform your eBay sales. Convert your listings, or don't even convert them, but just add the option to send it by Royal Mail or whatever your preferred courier is, and that will save a bunch of shipping for the buyer because you could be losing sales otherwise. Right, that's my little video, guys. I hope you're having a good weekend wherever you are in the world. Thanks for watching.